Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. If you make one common mistake, it can cost you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a GMC Sierra that generation here from year 2000. And 7 to year 2013 if you have one of those if you need to find where the right window fuses are located which two fuses you need to check one of them is extremely hidden stay with us we'll explain where you can find it where you can buy cheap parts tools fuses relates to the good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time and why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure to stay until the end so before we start guys let us tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you how to do engines transmission mechanical bodywork a little bit of everything guys we have more than 13,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars guys in future repairs we have anything from american to german vehicles asian uh, anything guys so now uh, if you need to find let's say you're in the middle of nowhere you need to find a video for a starter fuse or uh, you need to see where the starter relay is located all we have to do just come find that on our channel it will take you about a minute or two to watch it you fix it you're back on the road guys so that's why we're making all these videos for your convenience so let's go ahead and start on it now so the right window fuses guys where you can find it we'll demonstrate on that generation GMC Sierra right here you will have multiple fuse boxes in that uh, GMC Sierra but today we're working two and both of them are actually on the driver's side open the door here on the side of the dash guys you have that cover open the cover and underneath you'll find the main interior fuse box that we have a layout that will look like this one here but before we continue let's explain why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below so guys the right window fuse where you can find it now we have one fuse that we need to check here then we need to go to a different fuse box and check one more Oh, by the way, if you need to buy any fuses, relays, parts, tools at a good price, quick shipping, not just for GMCs here, but any car, we'll put the link in the description of the video below. Check it out, guys, you can save a ton of money. Here are the fuse that you need to check. Even if you have a missing fuse, you count that spot. You start on top and count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fuse number nine, that fuse right here. After that, you need to open the driver door again behind that panel here you're going to find another fuse box that will have only four fuses guys just like this one here and the fuse that we need to check on the very bottom one that's for the right windows as well hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time